Okay, this is for making envelopes for the cards you've made. Uh, if you don't have envelopes that fit your cards, or if you just don't have an envelope and you've made a card, uh, let me show you how you can how you can make an envelope for your card. Hey, okay, can I say card one more time? I think so. <clears throat> All right, uh, I'm going to use. I'm going to use three examples, and it's going to be the same for each one of them. Okay, I have this card that I made, what, for January. Well, I guess both of these I made in, in January, but they're both the same size, except this one is a little bit taller because of this tab thing. So we'll work with that. And then and then for this big card for my sisters, I'm going to from my sister, I'll use that as an example also. Okay. Now the you're going to need a ruler and a paper trimmer as well as your paper. Okay, now what you're going to do with the ruler is you're going to measure your card on the diagonal. Not, not side to side or top to bottom. You're going to go from corner to corner. And this is how they measure television screens or, or computer monitors. If they tell you that it's 19 inches, something is 19 inches, then it's 19 inches from the diagonal corners. So with your ruler, put put your ruler at each corner. Now this is seven inches. This measures seven inches from corner to corner. And this one should pretty much be about the same. This one's just a little less than seven inches. Okay, so this one this one would be seven inches also. All right. So you want one inch. So you're going to cut your paper at eight inches by eight inches. So I'll cut I'll cut two of these at eight by eight, and you can use magazines. Uh, you can use magazine pages. You don't have to use uh, craft paper. You can use any kind of paper that you can that you can paste, glue, tape, whatever, just so that it um, isn't going to tear real easy when it goes through the postal system. Okay, I cut out a piece of newspaper just so just so you can see that you can use newspaper or magazines. All right, what you're going to do, I'll do it with this dark one, probably probably not going to help, but you'll turn it on diagonal, put the points up and down, and then you'll put your card in there right. Put, put your card in there straight. Okay. Okay, now what you're going to do is bring up the bottom and crease it and you're going to bring in the sides And then the top, because of this extra little bit here, I'm going to get that in. Okay, now take your card out, and then with a bone folder, now you're going to you're going to make your creases really good. Okay. 
Okay. Now when you open it up, how best to show you this. Okay, you can see this one right here. There's a diamond shape. There's a diamond shape right there. And one there. A triangle, I guess, is more. Okay. So with your scissors, you are going to cut just a little bit outside this line, outside this crease mark, into the point. Okay, can you see how how I still have some of some paper? You can still see the fold. Okay. So do this to all of these all of these little triangles. So it's going to look like this with these little pieces cut out. All right, this this makes it so that you have this will fold in here at the sides and not be way bulky. This makes it so that it's nice and flat. That's what all that extra was taken. That's what all that extra was taken out for, so that this closes easy. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use this anywhere glue stick. And I'm going to goop it up good. And see, I just did the edge. I didn't go very far. All right. Now I'll put that on. Whoops. Yay, Leslie. That was good. Do this side too. Okay, put these two in and then put this down. No, I went and put glue up. Try and get that glue off of there so that my card doesn't stick. Okay, now, now put your card in. Now for a bigger envelope like this, it's the same thing. You'll measure from one corner to the other. And this is this is just just a little bit bigger than nine and three quarters. So this you would cut your paper at ten and three quarters. So there you go. That's how you make an envelope to fit your card. So doing it this way, if you have some pattern paper that you really like, that the card is made out of and you want to share, then you can make the envelope out of pattern paper. Or a magazine. Whatever. Newspaper. But that's how you make an envelope for your cards, if you don't have an envelope. Easy, easy. Have fun.